Okay, so here we are back at this carburetor. Um, as you can see, I've got the two holes drilled in the primary throttle plates. And I went about a hundred thou, probably a little bigger than I should have, but uh, it's off quite a bit, so I think it'll be okay. I'm kind of impatient, so we'll see. Um, one thing I'm noticing on this, if you, and this is hard to tell, and I apologize, I don't have a very good camera here, but I'm going to go ahead and adjust this. I went to adjust this earlier, kind of where I want it to be. So if I back off the idle adjustment all the way, okay, that's off all the way with the butterflies completely closed. And it shows just a little bit of transfer slot. And honestly, that's that position is about normally, at least with the Holly carburetors I've worked on, uh, that's about normal as to where you want that. But the butterflies are completely closed, uh, so that's not going to work. We, we don't have a choice but to have more transfer slots showing than that. So, And maybe on this carburetor that's okay. Uh, hopefully it is. And it's not a manufacturing defect where the butterflies are actually a little big so they don't fit the bore the way they should. So I'm going to open this. Um, what happens is, and I don't know if I can get it so you can see it, but if you see our little ported vacuum slot there, that's already exposed right there. And that's not much throttle opening uh, I'm going to back this off just a bit, uh, but even that port is just a little bit exposed, so uh, kind of a lot of transfer slot exposed already. So I don't know. We'll see how this goes. I kind of question the integrity of this carburetor, and I don't know. Uh, it's going to be a fine line to get this to work, I think, properly. So we'll see. I'm going to bolt this on. Uh, so two 100 thou diameter holes. Uh, so I'm going to bolt this on and we'll see how it goes. 